how's it going out there? Awesome. It's 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 fun. Um, defense is phenomenal, and so getting that work against those guys has been great. Um, you know, have whatever it is, six game reps, like six individual games against David. So it's kind of fun to go out now and practice um, and see a lot of the same habits. But it's been fun really getting to work uh, against him and Grady every single day, really, uh, really making us better. What have you seen from Matthew Bergeron? I know he's kind of stepped into a different role. I know you kind of mm -hmm. went up to him that first day and said something to him. We talked to him about it the other day. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from him? Uh, he's an incredibly talented, obviously, um, physically really gifted, and, and there's just there's so much of a learning process. And I know I kind of always talk about just reps and like small details, but uh, constantly telling him, you know, just work on the small different things and talk about something if it comes up, if it's in practice or a walkthrough, and he does a really good job um, learning it. And I was kind of telling him just like, I'm gonna keep giving you things. So like, if I'm knowing, the you know, knowing <laughs> you like. Apologize, but like just keep working with him. But he's uh, he's been awesome and um, really good mindset every single day, coming out and working hard. Does Arthur Smith ever say anything to fire you up? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He, he he he's. You guys know how smart coach is. So it's like he he's constantly working it. Um, but but it's awesome. He's making me better. He's making the team better every single day, and uh, it, it makes it fun. You know, you come out and your camp and days are hard, and you know he's always poking and prodding so he's, he's I don't imagine many people get under your skin but I know that he does yeah oh yeah I How love much it. Does that help? Uh, it, it it's it's it helps a lot I mean I, I love him you know it, I love playing I love this building and um, but you know he, he, he I don't know I don't know what it is he's so smart though you know how you know how he is I don't know he finds a way he's brilliant <laughs> Yeah, hey Chris, uh, everybody's looking at the Rook, but Dylan's in his second year as a starter. How's that coming uh, for him? Is he more in control and, mm -hmm. uh, of the situation up there? Yeah, I mean, the control um, and the communication has been outstanding. And um, to be able, I, I think you speak about, like, continuity, to get those reps with guys is really, you know, we're really fortunate. I think we understand that and are appreciative of that. And, uh, you know, the control and command that he has going up there is great. And, uh when, when you don't have confusion or lack of confidence, I think it really limits mistakes. Any thoughts on uh, Zach Martin? He wants, he wants Chris List for money. Uh, Zach's, Zach's the best player in the NFL. Um, I have more respect for Zach than anybody. He, uh, he's phenomenal. He's somebody I you know, looked up watching when I was coming in the NFL. He's watched my whole career, and he's somebody I always you know, uh, you know, try, and, try and play like and always try and learn. But Zach's, Zach's the best. Did he reach out to you after you got your deal? Uh, no, just okay. uh, no. But he's a, Zach's, a, Zach's, a, Zach's a, no, Zach's a, Zach's a great guy um, and obviously a phenomenal player and is probably gonna be a Hall of Famer. Did, uh, Not probably might, is definitely gonna be. They might ask you this, but is this part of the Arthur Brian Nielsen plan or? Yeah, I'm nowhere near as good as him. It took I had this for like a week and a half, so it took a week and a half to notice. But. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, nowhere near as good as those guys. Chris, we just spoke to Arthur Blankton there about this being year three of a three-year plan. Now, you've been with this team for a little bit now. From your perspective, what's it like to sort of see that progression getting to year three of that mm -hmm. three-year plan? I think they just talked about the foundation of habits that um, we've built and the expectation um, of how we come out and work every day. And that, that matters. I think, you know, the guys who have been here, you know, we love it. Love Coach Smith, love Terry, love this program and um, the culture and identity that we have. I think guys know we have an identity and I think guys uh, take a lot of pride in it. What is it about this culture and identity that allows so much of you to buy in so quickly? Uh, it's, you know, Coach talks about the ethos and it's going to be, you know, hardest working, most professional team. Um, and we're go out here every single day to compete against each other, to make each other better. And then at the end of the day, to be our best uh, to get after it on Sunday. With it being that year three, like when you think back to the last three years, at this point, year or week two in camp, mm -hmm. what's maybe the difference this year compared to those other two years? I think you learn, you know, just from myself, you learn like it's my third year in the system. And so the mental things, you know, you're obviously, you're still taking tons of notes on install, but it's so, not so much like big picture. It's really kind of, you know, it's kind of a luxury to be able to focus on, on the small details, different things, or be able to see the big picture of a play in a scheme. And so it's just the longer you're in it, the more you can learn. Um, and, and I think it just uh, kind of makes it not easier, but it makes you focus on just more more things. Did you say that's pretty universal with some of the other veterans, too? 
Yeah, I would say so. I would say so. And that's um, continuity on the line, too. Caleb and I, it's, you know, five, go heading into five years playing together, third year in the system. So it's like we know exactly what the coaches want from us. We know exactly what we need to do to be productive on a play. And then um, now we're really just talking of what the look the defense is giving us and how we're going to play it. And then once we say it, we both know kind of how it's going to look and how it's going to feel. You mentioned year five, been alongside Caleb. Are there still things you're kind of figuring out about him still at this point, or is it all just kind of? I, I have a good, I have a good understanding of Caleb, but you know, you never know. You never know with Caleb <laughs> what's going to come up. But um, you know, I love him as a person, the player. Um, he's incredibly physical, and uh, he's, you know, I'm super fortunate. I think we work really well together. It's funny sometimes watching him pick grown men up, but uh, he's, you know, he's a really talented player and super fortunate to be with him. Anything else? You were around Desmond a little bit last year. How have you seen him maybe go into even more of a leadership role this year? Just taking command of the offense. I think he was doing a great job of that last year as a rookie, which, you know, I think is very hard to do as a rookie. And then he just continued that, you know, throughout the off season and through OTAs and then the training camp. So it's, it's been good for him so far. Your coach good. Art talks about uh, your time with Ryan Training Hill and you kind of learned as much as you can from yeah. him. Uh, what did that mean and what were some of the lessons you learned and the things you're using now? Yeah, I just tried to uh, tried to model everything I could after after Ryan. Um, you know, just from being a pro, how to watch film, you know, how to carry myself off the field, on the field, in the meeting room. Um, really learned a lot from that guy. Give him a ton of credit for taking him under, taking me under his wing uh, at that point in my career. And and now I think it's helped me just to be able to do a little bit of that for Desmond, just to see, you know, I've been around this league for a little bit now and just, you know, share my experiences with him. How the big uglies up front holding up? How they look? They've been good, man. They've been awesome. You know, obviously with the full pads coming on, it's good to see some some beating and banging around in there. So uh, it's been good, man. It's been a great competition, you know, with the offense and defensive line and continue it. Offensive line winning? Yeah, absolutely. 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 <laughs> And, um, you know, as the exhibition season's, you know, coming up here, you got drum practices next week. Uh, what do you want to show to, to, uh, when you get in the games out there? Just continue to find ways to improve. You know, obviously preseason games are big, um, but not try to make it too big. Still go out there and, and use what we've been doing in practice. And then once the game comes around, just go out there and have fun and, uh, you know, try to win a football game. What could potentially make this offense so dangerous? I know we consistently talk about the versatility. There's weapons all over the place. Mm -hmm. What else? Yeah, I think it like 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 you said, it's the weapons, obviously, and just getting the playmakers the ball in space. You know, whether that's Bijan, CP, Cal, uh, Drake. Obviously, we got a ton of guys that you know it makes it a lot easier on the quarterbacks. And got great coaching staff. Coach we're going, Coach Art calling the plays, and uh, just finding ways to get creative and get them the ball as quick as we can. Bijan today, Arthur Smith was talking about his maturity and yep. how as a rookie he sees that almost immediately. What do you take away from your time that you've been around? Him? Yeah, absolutely. Just, you know, he's a quiet guy, doesn't talk a whole lot, so kind of been in the dorms trying to get him out of his shell a little bit, which which has been which has been fun. Um, he carries himself like a pro, and that, like I said, for a rookie, that's, you know, sometimes that's that's easier said than done, not easy as said and done. So, um, yeah, he's been great, um, obviously super talented, love, being, love working with him, continue to work with him. What do you do to try to get him out of his shell? Hey, Bijan, come out in the living room, you know? <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk a little bit. Let's go over some plays or something. But no, it's been, it's been good. He's been awesome. Did Coach Art uh, discuss your uh, personal growth from 18 till now? Um, can you touch on that a little bit? Or yeah, I've just. Grown, just we all do. Yeah, like just, um, you know, obviously, you know, I have a wife now. I have two, two little boys. So really, everything I do is for them at this point in my life. And, um, you know, that and them coming here and, you know, Art and Coach Rags just instilling that confidence back into me that I feel like I haven't had in a really long time. So that's been great to come out here and just rip it around a little bit and have fun. Did you watch the quarterback uh, show on uh, Netflix? Yes, I did. Uh, any uh, takeaways <laughs> other than my camera? Oh, you got a cameo on there? Me too. <laughs> you got me on there? Yeah. Other than that, I was I just, that was just me in there. So. Nah, it was, it was a good show. I enjoyed it. About the competitiveness in practice, I see towards the end you slammed your helmet a little bit after after the offense ran out of time. Can you just talk about how competitive it is against that defense? It is, you know, and um, you know it's practice. I'm a competitive type guy, and obviously I'm trying to win every time that I'm out there. And uh, just a situation that came up, we didn't execute it as well as we like, but we'll use that as a learning experience, you know, especially here in practice that 
we can learn from that and go in the film room and then, you know, hopefully when we get in a game situation, we'll nail it. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Yep. you. Thank you, guys. Uh, well, you tell us how camp is going so far? No one's going to ask you any questions. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so, so far, so smooth. First day, legs were a little heavy. Just a little heavy, but Camp Blazer coming back for sure. It's been a it's been a, it's been a blessing though. It's a great group of guys, great culture here, so I'm excited. I'm glad that you said culture because that's been a theme to what everyone has been talking about is the culture here. How would you describe it? Yeah, I mean, you come into a lot of locker rooms sometimes. You know, there's certain egos and things like that. But uh, from the jump, coming in here, a lot of guys they're they're fully bought in to what the team has. It's a lot of talented guys, so there is room for egos if they wanted it to be like that, but. As you can tell, there's great leaders. Um, everyone's bought into just the system and, and wanting to, to win and, and add whatever contribution they can. So it makes for an overall, you know, holistic group of guys that are just willing to, to teach and, and grow and to lead. Jalvin, how did, I mean, obviously you got here like literally four seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> what, I mean, what was that first week like? Were you, did you have a sense you'd end up somewhere or were you kind of wondering? You know, yeah, I mean. It, it, it was kind of how the NFL tends to go for people. For sure, I think at this point, you look back at uh, my career, it's anything but the ordinary. So I stopped guessing a long time ago, probably a couple <laughs> years ago. So I just, I kind of just wake up and see what the day has for me at this point. Um, but Atlanta had shown some interest for a couple of months now. I uh, came in a few months for a tryout and, you know, I know that the opportunity might open back up again. So I was excited when they hit me back up to, to get back in here. Um, so it's been, it's been smooth. Like I said, it's a great coaching staff, great culture. Guys love it here, which makes it a lot easier to come in and, and fit right in. You, you mentioned, obviously, you, know, you stopped wondering a while ago. Were you scouring and kind of seeing what was going on with different teams or even just here because of, you know, of what happened? Like, do you, or do you kind of just wait for your agent to call and be like, yo, this is, where I, this, this is the option? Yeah. No, I mean, more, more, more often than not, it's just my, my deal is just staying ready staying ready for the opportunity. So I'm more so focused inward and um, just make sure I'm being diligent, making sure when that opportunity does come, I'm ready for it. Um, as you know, a lot of guys talk about, it's definitely more difficult when you're at the crib, but I think it comes down to just staying diligent and staying ready and let my agent do what he's supposed to do and I'm what I'm supposed to do. So we can work together in tangent, for sure. Did the coaching staff talk to you? Are you gonna factor into the kick returning battle at all? Um, I think for sure. I mean, they, I know they've seen my film. I think anyone who's seen my film knows what I can do back there when I get the ball in my hand. So there's a lot of talented guys on this team as well. So I, I lo I'd love the opportunity to get back there and show them what I have and to, to get a chance to battle for that spot for sure. In terms of uh, catching up with the system and learning its terminology while you're practicing in pads, yeah. what are some of the challenges? What are some of the uh, keys to doing that? For sure, I think, you know, coach just talked about the, that willingness to be a pro. And a lot of what he talked about being a pro is getting in the playbook, putting in that extra time, um, letting go of distractions. So yeah, there's not too many distractions here. Obviously, we live right back there, so not too much you can get into, but definitely taking the time, you know, any extra minutes I have, just getting in the playbook, um, making flashcards, leaning into some of the vets. Like I said, a lot of the guys here are super open to just helping everybody come along. So asking them questions, asking coaches questions, uh, and just taking advantage of any time I have, for sure. I'm curious with you just coming in here, what your first impressions are of kind of everyone around you, the vibe around here, just mm -hmm. fresh eyes, telling us what you think. For sure, for sure. I think it's a, it's a really talented team off the rip. They've even made some additions. I know, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys know, I came out as a safety, so I was actually in the safety class as a, Flowers and, and Jesse, guys that have taken off in this league. And so seeing them on the other side of the ball now is, is pretty cool, seeing how far they've come. So there's a lot of talented guys on this team, one thing off the rip, like I said. And there's a, there's a certain humility and a certain hunger that, these, that this team has and that these guys have that I think is what, what makes championship teams. So I'm excited to be here. What were some of your early conversations like with Atlanta? I, I know you mentioned that you kind of had some communication with them a few months ago. What yeah. Kind of the, conversations like with them? Yeah, I think it was more so they're just kind of just handing, okay, we want him to come out for a tryout, whatever, whatever have you. I've done a, a couple of tryouts at this point, so you just never know when it comes to those opportunities, but uh, there's a lot you don't know when it comes to this league, but all it is is, you know, what can I focus on? What's my attitude going to be when I come into it? 
you know, what kind of positive mindset am I going to have? So that was, it was more so vague at first, but I think, you know, showing them what I could do definitely paid off. Thanks, guys. Okay, David, so once the pads came on, yeah. how did it shift in training camp? Uh, so it just gives you a little leeway to work, you know, work certain certain rushes and work certain uh, techniques. But uh, apart from that, I don't think the idea has changed or the mindset going into new practices has changed. It's still the same thing Coach uh, Ryan has been preaching from the other. Stop the ball, you know, still uh, attack the angles and, uh, and get things going. Yeah. Tell me about Ryan's coaching style because a lot of the, the guys over the last couple of days have talked about sometimes he can be really aggressive, really yeah. vocal. Tell me about those interactions with him. No, you just you just have to, I guess, <laughs> it's not taking things too seriously because <laughs> actually I'm going to let who, the person who got the joke today in the D-line room, I'm going to let him uh, explain that for himself. Okay. But uh, he's, he's he, he comes in there with every emotion. But at the same thing, you, at the same time, you uh, – you kind of know he's coming from a good place with that. He's coming from a, from a good place, and he sees the potential in the, in the group, and he's just trying to push us to uh, to actually attain that. Yeah. How would you describe where the defensive line is right now? We still, it's still, we still working. You know, it's still, uh, it's still early in the process. We still have bare weeks to go, and uh, you know, the idea is always every 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 day you come out here and get get, get better. You know. How much do the offensive guys give you guys trouble when it comes to trash talk? Because apparently there's been a whole heck of a lot of that here. Trash talking? I don't yeah. think I've heard nothing. Oh, that's good. My yeah. ears are shut. Like, I don't hear nothing. Maybe they're scared of you. Yeah, I don't hear no <laughs> trash talking. <laughs> Since you have a relationship with Ryan, do you have other, like, of your teammates coming up to you asking about him? Like, asking about how to... Um, interact with them or how to take you know receive his feedback or no it's just basically uh the the the, 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 the fundamentals and technique you know just watching the film uh being around being around uh ryan for probably this is the eighth year uh, or this is the seventh year being around him i've uh kind of i kind of know have an understanding for most of the technique and it's just you know trying to explain to, to the younger guys or whatever it is just to make it how I made it, you know, simple for myself, just try to help them, help them out, whatever <laughs> work. Have you seen a difference in Ryan with essentially the promotion, having to step up more? No. Is There's the no, same? he's the same person. Yeah. <laughs> David, what's your impression of Zach Harrison so far? Zach Harrison? Yeah. Zach Harrison? Uh, 96? Oh, yeah. I'm like, I didn't get it. You just said Zach. Okay. Zach has been great. You know, just actually uh, coming in as a rookie and uh, actually taking advantage of, uh, of, 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 uh, of, of his opportunities. And I feel like he goes in every day with the, with the intent to learn because uh, it's certain things we – or it's certain things Ryan talks about in the, in the, uh, in the D-line room and just – in regards to technique and fundamentals, and he comes out here the next day working on that. And it's 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 great to see that from from uh, from a young guy, and you know, see him uh, improve day in day out. Yeah. Have you noticed anything particular like with his power? Because he had a rep that kind of went viral on Twitter yesterday. Yeah, his, pack, his power. Yeah, the power. Because uh, Ryan had talked to him about that, and you know, just actually seeing him out there and executing it, and actually seeing it work, and it's like I, I feel that builds uh, self confidence in the in, in the player, especially at this uh, at such an early time in, in their career as well. Yeah. What are the battles like in the interior? You know, Chris and uh, the rookies. Rookie said you took him to school a little bit. And you and Grady going against yeah. the guards, trying to help each other get ready for the season. Yeah, it's just uh, it's gonna be consistent work, you know, working uh, every every day, trying to pick up on certain things, and uh, I think help 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 each other in whatever way we can. Because at the end of the day, it's gonna be we're gonna need them when it comes to the game, you know. So and they're gonna need us as well. So through the things, just help help get each other uh, better. Yeah.